Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mandy's Corner. Come on in, pull up a seat, relax, and let's get back into some Rise and World with a brand new update. Okay guys, this update sounds totally friggin' amazing. Let me see if I can find uh, the log here to read for you guys. I think it's kind of bringing in a lot of the things, you know, we all wanted the mounts, but then we had all wanted um, boats and fishing and all that nice stuff. Well, guess what? We got it. Okay. Update 0 0.9.4, fishing boats and more. Hello, folks. Finally, a new update is available. Sorry for the long delay. Getting the update ready took longer than expected, but it introduces some quite interesting features. Fishing is now available in Rising World. This means you can craft a fishing rod and use it to catch fish. There are six different types of fish available. And you can use a bait, earthworms, which spawn randomly while raking the ground, to increase your chances to get a fish. There is also a chance to obtain a small pouch, which contains valuable loot. We also added a small rowboat and a motorized inflatable boat. While the rowboat only has room for a single passenger, the inflatable boat has enough room for up to four passengers. Currently, the inflatable boat does not consume any fuel, but this will change in the future. Apart from that, the environment temperature plays a big role now. Going into a snow, snow biome with insufficient clothing can kill your character. Going to a desert with thick clothing causes your character to dehydrate faster. But even a rain shower during night has a negative impact on your body temperature. So keep an eye on it and take appropriate measures. Make a fire, wear warm clothes, etc. There are a few new items like a semi-automatic rifle, a med kit, consumable pumpkins. You can now cut them into edible slices or new haircuts for your character. This update also contains several important changes. For example, you are no longer able to access items or chests through walls. We also updated the hit detection for melee weapons and tools and changed the movement to prevent players from abusing the jump span. Of course, there are several bug fixes and smaller changes too. TNT is now more useful since it can now be used for mining i.e. explosions caused by TNT, spawn ores, and stones. As usual, you can find a full overview in the change log below. Okay, I'm not going to go into the full change log, guys, but if you guys want to check it out, um, I will put a link to that in the description. So, and if you guys aren't already following the Rising World developers on Twitter, by all means, go follow them. It's J-I-W Games. Really easy to find. And, um... I'll try to remember to put a link to their Twitter below as well. Okay, guys, I've been in here for a few minutes trying to get a little bit done for us. Um, I found this nice little area. I typed in for my seed, I typed in lake water, and it spawned me right near the lake, which was friggin' awesome. I love this area. I've got... Went ahead and got my shelter set up over here see and a workbench and a block bench i do still have it on peaceful mode because you know with whenever i play rising world to me it's all about the build so i just want to build in peace pick this area because found this i went ahead made us some stairs down in put us a couple little torches in this is a nice little cave system down here we can use it for mining and who knows, we may actually get lucky and find a dungeon down here. I'm not sure yet. Now, one thing I have noticed, which is a little bit disappointing, but with the new update, that may be what's causing it. Um, the Animal Breedmaster plugin is not working. So I'm going to give it a day or two, uh, kind of see if that changes. Um, hopefully it will. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and... First of all, I need to eat my poor little character. But we're going to go ahead and get to work on some stuff. I thought we'd start by exploring this cave. Um, the reason I went ahead and started an entirely new map is I have noticed before when I try to continue the same map after updates, 
I don't know if it's this way for everybody, but I've had trouble with glitching. So figured it was best just to go ahead and start a completely new map. Okay, guys. I've already been the other direction. I didn't find any um any dungeons down there, so let's go this way. I haven't been this way yet. Let's go this way and see what we find. Now I did get lucky and find a map along the way so that was freaking awesome okay it's just a dead end down here too oh and i think i'm stuck now that'll be my luck that will absolutely be my luck you guys know that right that or i'm gonna break a leg or something i mean come on it's me i can't play rise of world or seven days to die without breaking legs hey i made it okay so I think one of the things we need to do now is kind of pick where we want to start mining at. Hmm. What does this side come out at? Whoa! So that's where it comes out at. Oh! Well, hello! Did you come to join the party? Hmm. Who thinks I'm going to break a leg or die? Yeah, me too. So. All kinds of you poor babies are stuck down here, aren't you? We're going to have to fix that. Let me go get the stuff to make some stairs. Yeah, if I can get out of here. We need to make stairs to be able to get down there anyway. Uh, maybe a ladder, perhaps. Let's see if we can get this busted out. I am really excited about this update, guys. Even without the Animal Breed Master working right now, I'm like I said, I'm hoping that changes very soon. Um, it may have been something I did uh, with the install. We'll just have to see. But yeah, I love this game and this new update. I think it's just going to make things even better let's chop this out a little bit maybe that way those guys can work their way back out this end give them a little more room plus we can use the stone anyway sorry if my throat sounds a little funny guys i've been having sinus and allergy problems plus i streamed earlier tonight so i've been talking for several hours straight <laughs> And I have installed the new update on our um, Rise of Moral community server. So we will be playing on that tomorrow night uh, during stream. I'm really looking forward to playing this with some of the some of the folks I normally play with. I think we're gonna have a ball. These new updates are just gonna make the experience even better. All right, you guys, you got a way out now. Down here, folks. Okay. Okay, this comes out not far from our um our shelter. So awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. We need wood. Because I need to at least make ladders or stairs or something so we can get in and out of that deep part of the cave safely. Now, I have noticed since the update, something seems a little weird with um, when you go to pick up items. I'll, I'll show you in just a second. Okay. All right. You see, I'm right over the hand notice our little hand symbol just keeps flashing on and off so you have to kind of hit it at just the right the right time um i'm hoping maybe that's something you know just a little bug i mean it's a new update and i have heard people dog this game and it really ticks me off there was a, as a matter of fact there was a guy that used to play with us 
and he's no longer a part of our community that just did not need that kind of negativity he continually professed his love for this game and even to the point that when i refused to stream it every day or as much as he wanted me to because as much as i love the game i also have other games i love to play but he um he just he just got mad and didn't even want to be a part of my community anymore which was fine you know the, to each their own but it was kind of strange he professed how much he loved the game and then continually dog the developers they don't care about the game they're they're not doing this they're not doing that and it was kind of like okay if i remember correctly it was a one-man development team when's the last time you tried to develop a game i mean come on and i'm sorry but i've seen a lot of triple a games that are not as beautiful as rising world and that you can't do as much in as you can in rising world so my theory hats off to the developers okay hmm i probably should have just made ladders let me go back yeah i know you're upset aren't you yogi let me go back over here and go ahead and make up some ladders to take down with me you know just in case just to be on the safe side i don't think i have enough lumber on me though let's go ahead do up some lumber and why are my crafting stations i don't need in crafting stations letters there we go blind as a bat it was staring right at me all right we've got a couple on us anyway wish me luck Okay. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, this may be woo a little more difficult than I had originally thought. Okay, we're down. really goes on down in here doesn't it okay now it looks like it goes right back up where does it come out at when it goes up I'm wondering if it just loops back around to the other entrance uh oh up this way come on now let's go see here okay yeah I saw that when I was exploring earlier oh okay I thought I was about to fall. Yeah. Well, it's almost like a well the way it's shaped and the way the stone is down here, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, I believe if we go the right way, we'll just come right back out around um, the entrance where I'd already put the torches up. I'm getting a little lost in here, though. Nothing unusual for me. We all know this. Mm. Okay, that's a dead end. Okay, back up. Uh, let's see here. Let's go this way another dead end okay guys it doesn't look like we're gonna find our dungeon this time yep I've done got completely lost go figure ah, come on let me out oh come on now there we go whoop there we go And I don't see it down there right now, but earlier I did see the little thermometer for the uh, 
whole body temperature thing it shows up right down by your um, knife and fork for your food so that is something you're gonna want to keep an eye on now that, that's gonna be a real issue for us now okay hmm Let's go this way. Ooh. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, up. Okay, there's hmm. I think that's the spot I saw before. You guys are going to hate me. Just, you know, whole video of me being lost. That's not good. Yeah, I've done got really good and lost, y'all. <laughs> I do know that I'm on the other side, I believe, from where um, I put the torches and stuff in. So, well, where I put the torches and stuff in. I believe I'm on that same side. So if I can just find the right passageway, I may be able to get us out of here. And that's not it. <laughs> I don't think that's it either. All right, we just came from that way. Let's go back through here. Whoa! Uh -oh. Watch me break a leg. Okay, there's that. Keep going this way, I think. Okay, go back. Go this way. Hmm. gonna get us out of here somehow I promise I think that's it I think please Lord let it be it I think I thought wrong <laughs> okay this is back where we came down at so hmm all right, let's see if I can do this. Come on now. We've got things to do. Let me out. Okay, there's where I have the torches in at, so. Okay, at least now we know kind of what we're dealing with here. So, huh. I think I'm going to start mining just right here. Let me see, do I have any more? Yes, let's make some sticks. Torch mounts. Go ahead and make a couple more of these. Um, torch mounts. There we go. 
All right, let's get some stone done up because I want to go ahead and put at least a tower um, out. Just let a, like a little small tower out in the little pond by our shelter. Put some torches on it. Kind of light that area up and also be kind of like a marker, almost like a beacon. We're going to be doing a whole lot on this map, guys. And this time, you know, a lot of times I do like a little miner's shack and a miner's camp. I think I may do almost like a full-blown mining town in this little area. And from there, then we'll expand our way out to building other towns, build a resort, all, all that good stuff. So, yeah, th this little cave system here... It's going to be a treasure trove. Treasure trove. Blah, blah, blah. Because <laughs> we're going to need all the stone we can get. We need to go ahead and get enough stone to go ahead and get our first little primitive furnace up and going as well. We need to go find some iron. I know a few folks that had actually kind of gotten away from Rising World a little bit that today when I told them about the new update that, you know, it got them excited and jazzed again so they're ready to come back, which is awesome. I had actually already had another video recorded on our old map ready to go ahead and put out and then the update dropped and it's like eh, let's just go ahead and start a new map do a new video complete fresh start here we go Now, how much does that make that we have only? Yeah. And I don't know if I want to go ahead and start with a small primitive furnace or if I want to just go ahead and get enough together to go ahead and do a big one. I can't remember exactly. I know it required quite a bit more stone, but I can't remember exactly what else it required. I need to run out to the workbench take a peek real fast let's go ahead and do that um, we'll go out this way yeah this little area right here I think is just so awesome because there's so much that can be done with it and I'm going to have an absolute blast with this okay crafting stations yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and do the primitive furnace first. Alright, go ahead and craft that bad boy up. And you guys know I don't want to set a furnace on wooden blocks. I know it's, it's just me being silly, but hey. And I think I want to... Hmm. I think when we go to build, I'm actually going to put the mining office right here, kind of catty corner near the mine entrance here. Hmm. So let's just go ahead and put that furnace right around in this area. Because I really, really want to get some tools going, especially so I can cut down some of this grass. Because you guys know it's driving me nuts. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and make a rake. Go ahead and make one more of those. Let's see, tools, wooden rake. Oh! Um, resources stick. 
Okay, I'm going to need... Did I have any more? Yeah, I've got some more on me. So why am I thinking I need to go get something else? Okay. Sorry, guys. It's been a long night. <laughs> there we go. Craft that bad boy up. It's going back over here. And where's our rake? There it is. Rake some of this back a little bit. Oh, come on now. Level out. Can't have you like that. That'll work. Okay, and our furnace is already... Hmm. And boom, there we go. That'll work. It doesn't look crooked to y'all. Ah, I can't tell. Well, that's just going to have to work because it's down there now. Okay, I could have sworn when I was in here earlier that I saw some patches of iron. Let's hope I did. If not, I'm pretty sure we could probably find some down by the lake. Hmm. Aha! I see it! I'm too far away. Okay. Let's... Hmm. <laughs> Let's try to get at it from right here. There we go. Sorry about the dark, guys. Matter of fact, do I have... Yes, I've got another torch mount on me. Um, hmm. See if I can put it right there. Can I? No. But I can put it there. Oh, and guys, I don't know if you see it down there the little temperature thing is flashing so that's kind of what it'll look like that's what you'll be looking for i want to get some ore and go back and get it fired up in the furnace so we can get proper tools made like a decent little vein here. Get a little bit closer. Every time I say that, that I think about an old 80s commercial. Uh, it was for deodorant, I think it was. Get a little bit closer. Don't be shy. Get a little bit closer with air and extra dry. <laughs> God, I can't believe I still remember that. <laughs> Showing my age, y'all. Showing my age. Here we go. Yeah. And I have seriously been considering maybe going back and doing a little bit of medieval engineers. Um, what do you guys think? Is that a game any of you are interested in? Or I know they've made some major updates recently as well. So might be something worth looking into.
Okay. Alright. Uh oh. I've got myself in a predicament. Alrighty, now to remember the way back out. I should have marked it. We'll find our way back out one way or another, though. Oh, sorry about my bad birds. Shh. Hush, hush, hush. Yeah, guys, they're getting moved in a few days. We just haven't had the time to do it, so... It used to be I could put, you know, their sheet over them for them to go to sleep, and they quieten right down, but... Is that copper? I think it is. Yep, copper. We'll come back and get that in a bit. Oh! Okay, come on. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah, I'm going to have to come down in here with some torches and signs and kind of, you know, mark the way around. Okay, I think we're on the right path. I think. Shh. Yep, there we go. That goes back to where we just got the iron. So... Which way was the way out? Hmm. Try to bust me out a little step here. Hey, there we go. We're finding our way out. You guys are still just kind of chilling, huh? That's cool. Y'all go ahead and chill. Out of stamina. Okay. Alright, let's sleep the night away. Now, I do remember reading in the change logs that weather is now going to be a little bit of a, a bigger issue. Uh, there's going to be different types of weather changes, so that's going to be fun. I never did finish that, did I? Let's go ahead and get that. Never have too much wooden rise and rope. Ever. Now, I was noticing, um, like I said, I had recorded a video on our old map, and I noticed I was having some problems with the Animal Breed Master then. Uh, it seems like once you have it installed, I've done got turned around again, y'all. Oh, there we go. But it seems like once you have it installed, the mounts don't work exactly as they should um i had noticed that with my mounts they even when i put the saddle on them they would just turn around and wander off and i have wondered if that was because the animal breed master so it got to where i would tame them and have the saddle on was still having issues with them wandering off and the last time I logged into our map well not the map I was using for the videos but a private map I had going oh that's what I'm looking for right there some coal excuse me guys but the last time I logged into it all of the animals I had tamed were suddenly wild again so uh, I'm just wondering if maybe something's been going on with it. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'll try to double check on the forums over the next few days. See what I can figure out. What we can get situated. And even though right now we can't tame a lot of animals. We're still going to go ahead and build stuff. Just like we would 
four tames because, it, you know, eventually we are going to be able to do that and we're going to want to have things ready for them. I bet this is, okay, this is that one little area I saw earlier. Let's go ahead and grab this while we're here. We will end up needing it. I am so sorry about the birds, guys. Huh, still only giving me stone. Hmm. There it goes. There's some aluminum. I'm gonna have to run back pretty pretty quick because I'm dehydrating fairly fast. Oh, the poor moose, he fell in. Moose, just wander around down there. I promise you'll find your way out. I did. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back so I can get a drink. Uh, we can remember where that's at and come back and get the rest of it. Alrighty. Yep, nope, not close enough. There we go. Okay, let's go over here. Throw this coal in the furnace. Um, there it is. And... Okay, there's my arm. We did we did fairly decently. 35 out of that. That's not too shabby. And there we go. Alright guys, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and call this video right here. Uh, between now and next episode, I'll get a little bit of grind, a little bit of building done. And we'll get some more building done during the next videos. Maybe some exploration see what we got going on and hopefully between now and then I can figure out what's going on with the Animal Breed Master plugin. So, alright guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you're so inclined, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and until next time, I will catch y'all later. Bye-bye.